Hey guys, I apologize for the bad audio in the first part of this video. It does get better, I promise. Anyway, this uh, little village crawl is going to basically be all about, well, my visa. And uh, I'm planning on going to get a haircut, so we'll see if I can manage to get some footage of that. And uh, I'll also be talking about wet markets, since I'm planning to visit one in the area in order to buy some some eggs <laughs> yeah literally maybe some mushrooms too um, okay so let's talk about the visa uh, by the way I'm in a, a small urban village here which is near to where I live I can actually show you you can go down any of these little side alleys and uh, you know you have access to uh, sort of the village proper and it will be somewhere in here that I will get a haircut. Anyway, uh, let's let's get on to the whole uh, visa thing. I have my new visa, yay! Oh, by the way, see that? He's poisoning cockroaches. So I better hold my breath, hang on. Whew. Basically, uh, that's something that happens every once in a while. They'll come and basically spray that poison down the um, down the vents, you know, and the manhole covers, etc. And it kills the the rats and the cockroaches and whatnot. Um, so if I come out here a little later, right around, you can see all these sort of dying cockroaches crawling out of the sewers, which is um, yeah fairly interesting but I would not really say pleasant to see <laughs> anyway sorry let me carry on about my visa so past here. so anyway I did get my visa yay and I will fill you in on the process and you know what I was concerned about and how how it actually turned out uh, as any of you who follow my channel know, oh, it's a slippery little alley here. So, for those of you who follow my channel, you will know that I was concerned about uh, the new law, which, at least in Shenzhen, you have to. Bloody poison stuff's everywhere, I'm trying to skip past it. Um, you have to now apply online and submit all your documents before they actually allow you to go in. Like you have to make an appointment basically. And it's not only with the Labor Bureau but with the Public Security Bureau as well. So then they give you the go ahead and tell you when you can come through, uh, what day. But because of this it was actually a fairly quick process. Once I had gotten the, uh, the actual appointment when they said okay fine you can, you can come in, there were well, almost no cues, which was fantastic. All right, anyway, here's where I'm going to go get my hair cut. So, let's park my little bike here. Do the little, the little thing. Here where I can see it so it doesn't get stolen. Yeah. Hey, from Jellyma. Oh, oh. Ah, this is it. How fun be it? This is it. Alright, guys, so this is really weird. I've bumped into a subscriber here in this little hairdresser, which is kind of weird. Uh, so, how did you actually hear about this place? I didn't. Uh, she just brought me here. <laughs> okay. She used to live here. Okay. And about five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just looking for a cheap, good place to cut hair. And yeah. And I said, come here. So, yeah. yeah, and then walking here, I find you. Yeah, that's really weird. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, really, really good to meet you. Really, um, really cool to meet you. Yeah. So, uh, how did you find out about my videos anyway? Um, I just before I moved here, I just started looking for information, and yours popped up, and then ever since I've been hooked. 
Oh, that's awesome. Well, mate, that's... And you that's... drink a lot of beer. I do. <laughs> so, I do. it's yeah. something immediately interesting for me. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye. you too. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Well, I gotta admit that was really interesting, bumping into a subscriber in the middle of nowhere uh, like this. You know, it's the first time I've actually seen another foreigner in this little village, but I guess that's his, his girlfriend or his wife probably, not quite sure. But, um, you know, I guess she just showed him, you know, how to get here. And that's awesome. That's really cool. Still a good. Okay, let's get back to the whole visa story and the visa issue. So, I was concerned because after submitting all my documents, it was taking a long time for them to give me an appointment. And, you know, time was ticking away. I'm, al I'm always very careful when it comes to, uh, you know, the whole visa thing, and I always apply as soon as I can. But you only get to apply a month beforehand. Anyway, long story short, it actually turned out for the best once I'd gotten the appointment because, uh, like I said, there were, this is a little hospital here, there were actually uh, no queues. So I could go in there, basically get my um, paperwork done straight away and then head out. Then I went to the Public Security Bureau, in and out. And uh, five working days later, I got my visa. So. I'm very much relieved, uh, to put it bluntly. Very, very much relieved. All right. Now, let's go to that wet market I was telling you about. You know, bicycles are supposed to go on the sidewalk and you can see there's like a bicycle path here. But unfortunately, um, pedestrians don't seem to realize it's a bicycle path. Um, even though there are quite often little bicycles painted on them and signs, people just, oops, they don't actually see them and they ignore them. So as a cyclist, you know, it's kind of dodgy. Like her, you probably end up on the road half the time because then you don't need to deal with all the, all the pedestrians walking slowly, as they say. Anyway, um, there is supposedly a typhoon that's going to hit tonight, but uh, yeah, they always say there's going to be a big typhoon and it never is really big. So we will find out. Anyway, let's find that little wet market. I believe it's in here. Now, luckily for me, the wet market egg store is right at the front. Hang on, what am I doing here? So I don't need to wander far from my bike because, you know, I don't feel safe leaving it on the streets without a lock. Okay. Anyway, this is a wet market, as you can see. All sorts of goods. Ah, well. Yo, yo, meo. Ah, mogu, yo, meo. Meo, meo. Oh, meisho, meisho. Ah. Ni hao, wo se mai ji dan. Nuggets is way harder. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Let's see what we I think six eggs will do. Oh. A bit dehydrated mushrooms. Back way? Oh.
Oh, yeah, sit back. Ah, this is Ah, boy, on this here. Anyway, that's good enough. All right, guys, so that more or less concludes this little village crawl. Interesting bumping into that subscriber here. Um, time for me to head on back home. And I will see you guys very soon in another video because I'm planning to, hopefully later today, make a what's happening in China. Oh yes, also the high-speed rail video that I'm in the process of doing. I must explain to you that I shot it all on my GoPro because I was carrying so much crap with me, I couldn't use my, my DSLR. So uh, the footage, unfortunately, is very shaky. And I'm trying my best to find a way to stabilize it. Uh, so far, all my attempts have been very, um, how can I say, have failed. Because every time I watch the footage, it makes me feel sick. <laughs> uh, so I will, of course, get the high-speed rail video up as soon as I figure out how to overcome the problems. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Until next time, as always, stay wholesome.